Hey guys, Kershelet here with AwakeHealth.com. In this video, I will be sharing with you the best food to build muscle mass naturally. Why do I emphasize uh, muscle mass naturally? Because uh, for building mass, uh, when you are taking like drugs like uh, anabolic steroid, HGH, insulin, or whatever type of drugs, um, these people usually focus on a low fat uh, diet, usually like you know, less than 10%, so now around 10%, 15% of fat. And uh, you cannot do this if you are natural for too long because it will affect your hormones, it will affect your testosterone and your HGH. You need the fat to produce those hormones, okay? Uh, when you are taking drugs, you are taking basically testosterone, you're taking HGH and you uh, injecting that yourself or you take that in the pill okay so so you don't need to have as much fat to produce the hormone itself okay so but when you're natural you need to emphasize fat okay you need some fat don't go below 20 percent of your daily calories as fat so don't do a low fat diet when you're natural you will not gain much muscle especially when you get older okay when you're younger you can build uh, muscle mass because your uh, your testosterone are naturally high, okay, when you're in your teens and stuff like that. But when you get older, your your testosterone's gotta get lowered because most of the times because of stress, because you're not eating the proper food, like I'm just talking about here. You're not enough. You're not e eating enough fat. Sorry about this. And you're not uh, eating enough protein, okay. So let's let's. Uh, I'm I'm gonna show you right now the the best foods uh, to build muscle mass naturally. The foods that I eat uh, almost daily and I've been eating for a long time. So let's start with uh, with. Uh, just give me grab here. Start with the pork. This is pork chops, and this is like a roast, a pork roast. Okay, and look at the fat in this. And look at the fat in this. This is good for you. You need that. This is grass fed pork. Okay, the, the, the pig goes outside uh, in the pasture and they eat grass, they eat, uh, they eat the grain that the farmer gave them, but they eat grass, they eat whatever is there. And on top of this, pork is pretty much like us for that. So when they are exposed to sunlight, their skin are exposed to sunlight, they produce vitamin D. And vitamin D is stored in fat. So when you eat that fat, you have a load of vitamin D in it. So especially in the winter when we don't go outside, we need vitamin D to produce testosterone for our hormones. It's really important to have vitamin D. If you're not taking fat that is grass-fed, you should take some vitamin D for the winter time to make sure that you, your hormones are, are, are working properly. Okay, so pork is a very good type of food. It's loaded with protein it's loaded with b vitamins like i said it's uh, vitamin d vitamin k2 and there's minerals in this so eat your pork okay but make sure when you eat the the fatty pork like this that you're not eating carbs with that okay so no uh, no rice with that no uh, very small amounts of car carbs uh, potatoes yams stuff like that because if your goal is to build muscle mass and get lean at the same time uh, you don't want to uh, to add the carbs to a meal like this because it will uh, spike too much insulin you're going to deposit uh, a lot of it in body fat if you're not very active so i'll talk about this in another video okay so today we're talking about food so pork is a very good choice I've got some beef right here, some ground beef, grass-fed again. And I've got some, like a type of a flank steak, very lean steak. Um, I'm never a big fan of this. I like more like T-bones and uh, ribeyes and uh, these type of steak. But with this lean steak, you can eat carbs with that, okay? Because it's very low in fat. Uh, you, you, ha you have to eat carbs with that because there's not enough calories in this to sustain you for a long time, okay? It's basically just protein, minerals, iron, uh, creatine. There's loads of creatine in beef and also in pork. So if you're eating like a lot of meat, uh, you don't need to supplement with creatine, honestly. And there's loads of other uh, vitamins and minerals that are like found in meat, okay? So... Beef, grass-fed, the best, okay? So after this, I've got some milk here. Put that in a jar. I drink one or two like this a day. Uh, this is raw milk. And uh, why is it raw? Why is it best? Because it's not been pasteurized. The enzyme uh, lactase and the enzyme phosphatase are not destroyed by eating the meat, uh, eating, sorry, eating the milk. And you can absorb the calcium, you can absorb the lactose. It 
it's you're, you're less prone to be lactose intolerance and you're gonna probably digest raw milk way better than you are doing uh, pasteurized milk okay and it's a big uh, muscle building type of food it's been used for like uh, decades by old-time bodybuilders and it's working i've been using raw milk since uh, i started wor working out basically okay it's hard to find in canada uh, i live in canada so it's hard to find if in you're in the states you have more luck maybe you can get some in canada you won't be able to find it you need to know a farmer that will sell it to you and it's uh, less probably because uh, they're afraid to be sued by uh, the government okay so uh, just be careful if you want to lean out you want to get lean if you drink too much milk it's going to be tougher to do it because it's a food that's a mix of protein fat and carbs okay so it will uh, will make you retain some uh, some fat a little bit so if you eat one like this a day it's not too bad if you don't have too much carbs it's going to be okay but you eat like two uh, like this a day with uh, potatoes and sweet potatoes and rice and stuff like that that's too much carbs probably for you depending on your activity levels if you're moving a lot of course uh, it's going to be okay but if you're more of a desk job type of person and you're sitting on more this will uh, make you fat eventually if you drink too much okay so I, I can drink when I was at my biggest and my strongest and in my 20s I used to drink like a gallon of milk a day uh, on top of like half a pound or to a pound of meat a day and also uh, with uh, one of my good sorry about this with eggs which is another food I really like those come from Costco here uh, they're organic eggs uh, usually I go also to uh, to farmers uh, close by and get their eggs that are pastured again and uh, these eggs are a uh, uh, food that you need to eat to to build muscle mass it's uh, very good it's full of cholesterol and eat the yolk okay? make sure you eat the yolk don't eat just the white the yolk is critical it's full of cholesterol and you need the cholesterol to produce testosterone in your body okay so eggs is a, another big choice so basically you have the meat you have the milk you have the eggs I usually make myself, if you want to check another video I make uh, about uh, eggs, I make a shake from this. Usually I put like eight eggs in my blender with uh, bananas and uh, like, uh, like blueberries or uh, raspberries or stuff like that. And that's my protein shake, the best protein shake, okay? This will, uh, this will uh, put some mass on you, okay? So another food, sorry about this. Another food that's very good is cheese. If you digest cheese, if you digest dairy product, cheese is good for you. This is a big, uh, big wheel of cheese. And this uh, also is a good uh, food to uh, build muscle mass and gain uh, muscle mass, okay? Uh, again, if you're eating cheese, don't eat cheese with bread because this will uh, make yourself fat eventually if you do that too often because this is about like 40% fat or like 45% fat sometimes or 30% fat this one is uh, this one is 28% fat so still pretty fat if you eat that with carbs you will uh, eventually uh, put on some fat also but you will gain some muscle too so it depends on your activity level like I said before okay so cheese very good and also when you're cooking uh, you, butter is good. Butter, especially when it's organic pastured butter, it's the best because again, there's vitamin K2, there's vitamin D, and this is vitamin A, uh, which is very critical for muscle building to digesting your protein. You need vitamin A and vitamin D. Okay, and when you're cooking again with butter, you want to put butter when you cook uh, with your your meat and when you cook with your uh, if it's lean, you using uh, butter to do that. Again. Don't mix too much butter with your carbs. You will gain fat from that. So if you do butter, do like protein fat together and eat your carbs around your workout. Usually like just a few hours before your workout and after your workout to spike your insulin to absorb more of the nutrients after that. But if you plan to get lean, afterwards do protein fat, okay? And I didn't talk about how to cook uh, your meat uh, for like beef and stuff like that don't cook it too much like medium rare usually is the best I know some people uh, don't like uh, rare meat don't go above medium honestly don't don't cook it too well done that that's very hard to digest uh, the best way to digest it usually is medium rare or something like that or rare it's the best for digesting it digests very quickly uh, when you do it medium rare uh, if you do it 
cook it too much, it's going to be hard to digest, okay? Same thing with uh, the pork itself. Uh, don't want to eat it raw, but you want to cook it not... Uh, you want to cook it like medium about, okay? So it's going to be better uh, di digested, okay? So, uh, and for carbs, when you eat carbs, like you have the potatoes, the potato here, and you have the sweet potato, this comes from our garden, and those are the best choices for your carbs, honestly. A lot of people talk, I know in the bodybuilding world, like rice is the big food to eat, but there's not much nutrition in uh, rice, it's basically just carbs, it's, be it, it, it's energy, okay? So if you just want energy and your diet is uh, okay, you're eating a lot of meat and uh, eggs and... Uh, and milk and stuff like that so you're gonna have a lot of vitamins and minerals and the protein that you need in the fat so it's okay to eat rice here and there but uh, with those like in potatoes there's a huge amount of potassium and magnesium which is very good for you vitamin c2 as well and uh, in yams there's lots of beta carotene in it and it's full of uh, of carbs as well but because it's fiber it uh, doesn't spike your insulin as much okay and the last food that you basically need is when you make your, your shake, if you make shakes and stuff like that, the banana is good. It's full of potassium and uh, it's full of magnesium again, manganese and other minerals like this that your body need uh, to build muscle mass, okay? So those usually, like I said, I put them in my shake. Uh, when I make my shake with eggs, bananas and some, uh, some blueberries and raspberries. So basically... So basically, uh, that's about it for the foods to build muscle mass and I use daily. You can add some uh, veggies if you want to, like uh, some salad, some cucumbers, tomatoes, stuff like that, to your meal when you eat with your meat. Um, but uh, those are not going to make you build muscle itself. The, the food I just showed you here will build muscle on your frame. The other ones are just basically to, to stuff you up. They're going to give you some minerals and stuff like that, but that's not what's needed to, uh, to build muscle mass, okay? So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, you can uh, comment down below. And if you need some help uh, to, uh, with your food, with your nutrition, uh, to build your muscle mass and to uh, lose your fat, uh, you can schedule a strategy call with me or a consultation and uh, we'll talk in that in that call and we'll go deeper in what your needs are in uh, to build the muscle mass so thank you for watching bye bye